Okay, so now as a complement of your gate evaluation, we do this part of the exam with Sophie on prono position. Look at her uh, lower extremities, how she um, accommodates them with an internal rotation. Um, when you see an internal rotation, your deformity can be down at the feet, at the knees, or at the hip. So we start by the feet, and when you look at it, and you see the axis of the feet, from the hind foot to the toes. And you see that there's no adduction of the feet. It's a straight feet. So apparently the problem is not here. Same thing here. The axis of the feet is uh, straight. <clears throat> then we go up. We go up and see if the problem is on the leg, on the tibias. And we look at this angle formed between the axis of both feet and the tie. This angle must be with a lateral, laterally <laughs> opening. Um, the angle formed between the foot axis and the tie. And at last, we're going to evaluate hip rotation. In this case, internal rotation. And what we do is we flex the knee in 90, and you have to hold the hip because it might move when you rotate, and you don't want to do that. And you can see here, her internal rotation is completely full. You can touch the examination bed with no problem. Same thing on the contralateral on the other side. You fix the, uh, you uh, hold the pelvis and rotate. And she does a complete internal rotation. Look at this. So we assume that the internal rotation of both hips is influencing in the rotation of the feet.